The purpose of this video is to go over the basic vessel system layout in the new Genscape Vessel Tracker cockpit. In order to access the new cockpit, go to VesselTracker.com, log in with your normal credentials, and click on the cockpit icon in the top of the screen. This will open up a new window with a map of the world and a number of icons throughout the map where you can see different vessels. There are two different ways to see vessels on the system. The first is to simply highlight any of the icons and you'll get some basic vessel particulars or to click on the search box in the top of the screen where you can search for a vessel based upon vessel name, IMO, MMSI, or call sign. So in this case, if I type in the vessel particulars that I'm interested in, it will bring up a number of different options. And once I've chosen my vessel, it will bring up another screen with more details. As you can see in the right of this, this right of the screen, you get more information on this particular vessel. By clicking on the locate and follow icon here, I can actually see where my specific vessel is on the map. Clicking on the 24 hour track next to it allows me to see where this vessel has been over the past 24 hours. Clicking on the historical track next to that allows me to see the vessel's movements over a period of time. I can either look for the last seven days, the last 30 days, or I can identify a particular period of time that I'm interested in. To go back to the live mode, click on the red icon on the bottom left of the screen here, which allows you to go back to the live mode. By clicking on the route prediction icon here, that allows me to see the predicted route of this vessel based upon its current position and its destination. Clicking on the photos icon here allows me to see photos that have been uploaded to the website from the photo community. On the right of the screen are a number of different icons which gives you additional information. The question mark icon gives you documentation which is a user guide and manual for the cockpit. The eye icon allows you to display or hide the information on the particular vessel. Filtering my vessels and extended vessel search are all things that will be covered in another video. The routes icon here allows the users to calculate ship routes and distances between two distinct points or ports. And if you look at the bottom of the screen here, on the settings, this allows the user to add overlays or change map view. So for example, I can add traffic density and get a view as to traffic activity for this vessel and the overall market by clicking there. 